banishes. You are a sight for sore eyes. And I do admit my eyes are sore. Lamentation. Or are you the Honorable Mr. Haskell now? Are we interrupting? Yes, you are. But your interruption is the latest of many. Things are not going well. <laughs> we overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. It's... well, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start. I'd speak of past mistakes, and how they show you the way to a better future. That might just work. Thank you! We saw the pyre. We saw the burned books. What's going on here, Lamentation Haskell? Nothing's going on here. Not really. All right. Folk despair. They've lost trust in my father. They finished the meeting house, but... Well, people talk and foolish people shout. In their wisdom, the flock decided that we were heretics, or worse, they took down the wards, burned our books, and then set fire to our house. They're afraid. Can you blame them? No. It was inevitable. If anything, I blame myself for failing to see it coming. Without the wards, the situation worsens, and folk blame my father. Would they be wrong? Right or wrong? Spectres walk once more, and we need the services of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace, I doubt they'll be grateful. But I shall. Who ordered the books burned? I don't know. Does it matter? It was chaos. I brought my father to safety out of their sight. When I came back the next day, it was like nothing had happened. The pyre was cooling. All my ghost's wards were destroyed. No one said a word. Funny thing is, they did not find the books I'd already borrowed from my father's shelves. If they had, I'd now be dead. Very well, Mummy. We'll see what we can do to help your people. Thank you. If you need anything, I'll be here. I'm no use anywhere else. <laughs>